Hydraulic fracturing is a technology that's really been around for well over 50 years. Started right here in Oklahoma. It's been something to enhance the producibility of a formation. It's been a key enabler of uh, increase in production that's really revolutionized energy supply. Hydraulic fracturing is not a new concept. Hydraulic fracturing is, is a very old process. It goes back to the middle of the last century. It's something that the companies have been doing on vertical drilling for the longest time. The hydraulic fracturing process is the process of injecting high pressure water and sand into shale rock. And that shale rock has trapped in its pore spaces hydrocarbons, either oil or gas, and oftentimes both. It creates the permeability to allow the oil and gas to then flow from these pore spaces into the well bore and eventually up to the surface. The reason hydraulic fracturing is almost a necessity is that we move from very permeable rock where the wells would actually flow naturally without any kind of treatments to again the shale rock which is as permeable as your driveway. In other words, the rock does not give up the hydrocarbons easily. Water is an essential part of hydraulic fracturing. Without water, there is no hydraulic fracturing procedure. There are and always have been rules in place to protect groundwater. The rules and regulations that we and the operators follow is from the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. They have a certain set rules of how much surface pipe you have to set below the water table, what the condition of the pipe has to be, what the condition of the cement has to be. We all abide by that. We're all held accountable for those rules and, and sticking to them. There are all kinds of precautions or points during the drilling process and the hydraulic fracturing process that are well known and uh, made a part of a public record by the company's hydraulic fracturing. The industry came to the Groundwater Protection Council and asked us if we could build the website that is now Frack Focus. Frack Focus is a national system. Every oil and gas producing state has reporting into Frack Focus. And it was just to be uh, a place for the companies that wanted to report data to have a place and they could refer inquiring public to the website. The primary fluid for hydraulic fracturing is water just because it's very efficient. It imparts energy to the formation. It's easy to handle. It can be reused. We're also looking at other fluids, one of which is carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide has some unique properties at pressure. It pumps like water, but it flows back like gas. So it's a fluid that we're looking how to economically use. The term hydraulic means you're simply pumping a liquid of some sort to break the rock. That liquid could be anything. The other alternatives can be things like nitrogen gas, CO2 gas. We have systems where we pump upwards of 90% by volume gas. So we basically reduce the water requirement in those gas fracks by, you know, 90%. The shale revolution in the United States has redefined global geopolitics. And what's exciting is Oklahoma's really played a leading role. Without hydraulic fracturing, there'd be no uh, shale gas uh, revolution. It's changed now in the United States, it's changed the whole world. We all take pride in our state. Everybody wants to do the right thing, and we strive to do that. At the end of the day, it benefits the entire oil and gas industry to be more environmentally conscious with everything we do.